So now we're going to go on to Pacer. And so Pacer, so I don't know how many of you have a Pacer account, um, but it is actually, it's, it's free to register for a Pacer account, but you are charged 10 cents a page to view documents on Pacer. So you have to actually, you know, get a Pacer account and you have to, you know, put a credit card on file and then you're billed quarterly for your usage. But if you accrue less than $15 um, of fees, I guess, within a quarter, those fees are waived. So that kind of is equivalent to 150 pages um, on, on PACER. So um, again, PACER has, uh, for the federal courts, it has, um, for all the, the, the circuit court of appeal, the uh, bankruptcy courts, all the district court civil and criminal and multi-district, um, all of the, the court filings for, for the federal courts. Okay, and so as we'll see, um, we have just kind of standard uh, fields for, for doing our searches. So, you know, you can search by, by region, so usually by, uh, by court or by the whole Ninth Circuit. You can search by party name, by case number. Um, for civil cases and appellate cases, you can search by nature of suit. Um, you can search by chapter in bankruptcy cases, and you can also search in bankruptcy cases if you have the last four digits of the, uh, the debtor's social security number. So those are the, the basic search options, and then we'll also look at some of the advanced search options where you can actually search case title, so plaintiff versus defendant, um, date filed, date closed, date dismissed and, or discharged in bankruptcy cases. So I guess in some, sometimes that might be helpful if, if you have that information. So let's go to PACER now, to the PACER case locator. And the um, on your handout, I have the, the URL um, for the, the PACER case locator. And so again, you can do an all federal court search, um, or you can select, um, you know, appellate, bankruptcy, civil, criminal. Um, and so um, usually, I, I guess I'm going to go to the advanced search here. Um, and we're going to run a few searches. So, for example, if you have um, a case and you have the party names that, and you want to retrieve um, the register of actions and the, the documents. So my case here is called Lane versus the Tides in. And so we're going to go ahead and click on search. Oh, I guess it logged me out. <laughs> um, okay, I have my Pacer account here. So it's... documents by case title, and it was um, Lane versus the Tides in, and we'll click search, okay, so here's the case, and so it, it shows you down here that it has charged us 10 cents uh, to run that search. Um, and it tells you uh, the court, it gives you the case number, the nature of suit, um, and so and these are also other fields that you can <coughs> search by. And so I'm going to go ahead and to open up the case, you click on this little hyperlinked case number here. Okay, and so this comes up, and so usually what I do is I click on history and documents, and this takes us to um, if we run query for all events, mm -hmm. it will display um, the register of actions for that for the case. And so the complaints of the initial filings will be at the top. And then if we actually click here and we select um, download all. And so it's telling me it's going to charge me $1.50. <laughs> so, 
So. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice to yeah. be warned. It is nice to be warned. Especially if it's 150 pages. That's right. Okay, and then I'm going to download. This is obviously not my usual computer, so it's not set up. Okay, so um, these should just be PDF files. Um, I'm hoping it's going to let me open them. So this is just the cover sheet, of course. This is a federal um, civil case cover sheet. And then I just wanted to show you this should be the complaint. So yeah, here's the actual complaint that was filed in that case. And then, of course, it's a PDF document, so you can save it. Um, save it to your computer. Um, okay, so let's go back to uh, the main screen here. Okay, so back just to the case, case or case locator, so I wanted to show you that. Um, you can also, of course, um, retrieve by, if you had a, a case number, um, or, um, you know, just all courts, if there was a specific party and you wanted to see all uh, litig federal litigation they had been involved in, so for example, Twitter, um, that's going to bring up, um, if you're in all courts, it's going to, of course, bring up, you know, anything at the district level, at the circuit level, bank, you know, if it was bankruptcy, civil, criminal, it wouldn't matter. So it would, it's going to bring up, it's going to bring up everything, all, all litigation that they've been involved in, um, you know, it'll tell you the nature of suit. Um, so this is what what Twitter has their their recent um, federal litigation. Okay. Um, so let's go now to um, civil cases. And so um, if you want to kind of look at recent litigation in a particular area, or you know case filing trends in a specific for a specific um, area of law in a specific. Uh, Region, so either circuit or um, a, you know particular court, um, you can limit here. So I'm going to look, for example, or look to see uh, recent uh, Truth in Lending Act violation cases filed in uh, the California Northern District Court. So I'm going to scroll down to California Northern, and then down here for nature of suit, um, I'm going to look for Truth in Lending cases. <clears throat> and so that is, let's see, Nature Suit 371. So, um, almost there. There we go. Truth and the <laughs> yeah. And, um, okay, so we're in the correct region and truth, truth and lending. And then you can just click search. Okay, so it, um, it shows you, unfortunately, it's date ascending as the default. And so you have to click on date filed twice in order to actually see the, the most recent cases that have been filed. And so um, these are the most recent cases uh, for truth and lending, violate, alleged truth and lending violations um, filed in the Northern District. So you can go ahead and look at those. Um, you can also um, kind of use nature of suit searching to get examples of, um, you know, pleadings and motions filed in particular types of, of cases, right? So, uh, for example, if we want to um, look at uh, antitrust, examples of antitrust complaints that have been filed uh, in the Northern District, we can do that. So, or I'm sorry, I guess we're gonna do the Ninth Circuit here. And then, um, so let's see, antitrust is nature of suit 410. So we're gonna scroll down to that and click on search. Okay, and then we're just, again, it, for whatever reason, it displays the oldest cases first. Um, so we're going to change that. We're going to resort it to have the most recent cases at the top. And so, um, for example, if we wanted to look at um, the complaints or any other filings from a particular case, we can click into that. Again, click History Documents, Run Query. That will get us um, to uh, the Register of Actions. And then I actually already downloaded it. It's kind of a long complaint, and so I didn't want to have to pay for it twice. So I've already already downloaded the complaint from this Home Depot versus AU Optronics case, and so here it is. So, um, okay. All right. So um, I also wanted to just show you a few more things with Pacer. 
So I wanted to show you an example of finding um, bankruptcy filings. Let's see. Oops, there we go. Okay, so for example, um, if you have either the case number or um, a debtor, you know, debtor's name, um, party name, you can can find the, the bankruptcy documents from, from that particular bankruptcy. So there was a, a I guess a kind of a grocery store chain called Fresh and Easy Neighborhood Market, and they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy um, in late 2013. So if you want to look at the bankruptcy filings for that case, you just type it in and click in party name and click on search. Okay, and so here's the their most recent Chapter 11 bankruptcy that they filed um, was back in September, and so you can click on that and um, you can take a look at, uh, at the filings. So. Okay, so history documents, query. Okay, so you could, again, these are all hyperlinked, so you could, for 10 cents a page, um, download those documents. Okay, and then I just want to show you one more uh, type of search in PACER, and that's criminal. So um, I was kind of interested in maybe seeing some of the filings from like the Bernie Madoff cases, you know, when he was obviously indicted in, in federal court. Um, and so you can, if you have a party name, Madoff, name is Bernard, and click search. Okay, and so, you know, these were the cases filed against them out of New York, which makes sense. Um, and so if you wanted, you could take a look at, uh, at the, the filings from those cases. Okay, so, um, gosh, it looks like we're running a little short on time here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of PACER.